Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to Too Blessed. Um, today's video, I just wanted to share with you about a little bit about the vacation that we got to take this weekend. Um, it was a really quick trip, very short, <laughs> but we had a really good time and I just wanted to share some kind of interesting things and I, I actually learned something about myself this weekend and I wanted to kind of share that with you. So the past few weeks, my husband has been working a lot of overtime and he actually has been working third shift. So he's been going into work at nine o'clock at night, getting home at about seven in the morning. And then of course, having to sleep all day. And then he's been trying to cut some lawns on the side to help us earn a little bit of extra money to help pay some of our medical bills. So he's been working so, so hard and he's been so tired and I've felt so bad for him that, that he's just been so exhausted. And so the outage at work just came to an end and he was getting ready to uh, go back to first shift. And so with the schedule change, he ended up having a little bit of time off. He worked Thursday night, so he got home Friday morning at 7, and he went to sleep for a few hours. And then we headed out, and we went up to Pigeon Forge, which is near Gatlinburg, if you're not familiar with the area. <laughs> okay, so I had to restart my video because my husband just called me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Gatlinburg is a really special place to us because, like I said, that's where we spent our honeymoon. And we've been able to go back at least once, sometimes a couple of times every year since then, because we're only about, we're less than two hours away from there. So we really love it there, you know, going up in the mountains. It's just beautiful. So we've, we've been there a lot and there's a lot of places that, that we've already been and, and, but we like to, you know, try to find new places to explore. Um, so like I said, he, he came home at seven Friday morning and he had to sleep so he went to sleep for a few hours and i wanted to get some things done while he was sleeping i wanted to get our van cleaned out and things like that um so i was able to do that got all our stuff ready and everything and so we headed out in the afternoon um i think it was like i'm trying to remember now i'm thinking it was about like five or six o'clock something like that when we got up there um and we went we've ended up using the same cabin rental company every time we've stayed up there and so we just went there we didn't make reservations or anything and they only had one cabin available so we took it they told us that uh the hot tub in the cabin didn't work and you know that that was okay i mean we like using a hot tub but it but it was fine um, but it did have a jacuzzi inside and that was what I was excited about. So we, um, we headed over to the cabin and that evening ended up being kind of a little disappointing. Um, so when we got there, we kind of got settled in, a, settled in a little bit and we, I went to use the jacuzzi and I told my husband, I said, this is what I want to do. I'm going to get in the jacuzzi and i'm going to turn on the tv and i'm going to watch hgtv because at home we don't have cable or satellite or anything like that we don't we don't have tv at all but i really like hgtv and that he doesn't like it by the way and the only time i get to watch it is um when i'm in the hospital or when we go on vacation it, i get i get to watch it just a little bit um we just you know Cable TV is expensive, and I just don't want to spend money on something like that. So, um, you know, that's fine with me, just every once in a while when I get a chance. Well, first of all, we couldn't get the TV to work. We couldn't figure it out. And then when I went to fill up the jacuzzi, it filled up about that deep with hot water, and then the water turned cold. And I was not happy. Really not happy. <laughs> And so we called because they have, you know, they have a maintenance service. If you have any problems, you're just supposed to call them and let them know. And we ended up having to call a couple of times. And it was like two hours later, um, I think it was about 10 o'clock, and he called again. 
And they said, well, they're really busy, and he probably won't get there until after 11, 11.30, something like that. And we were disappointed because we just kind of felt like our evening had been wasted. You know, we, we didn't have a lot of time to be there, and, and now we had just been kind of sitting there for a couple hours and not really able to enjoy anything. So I was determined that I was going to get in that jacuzzi that night. So I filled up the jacuzzi with cold water and then I went and boiled water on the stove like four or five times because there were you know there was some pots in the kitchen but they weren't they weren't very big just about that that size so I had three little pots filled up with water and I boiled them and then I dumped it in there and then I filled them up again <laughs> so I got my warm water and I I was able to get in there for about 30 minutes or so before the maintenance guy showed up and then I had to get out of the way but um you know, I had to come back later and I had to apologize to my husband because I, I let those little things just start ruining the whole weekend for, for both of us. Not just for me, but for both of us because I just, I, you know, I started getting upset and I just was frustrated and I was complaining. <laughs> so I finally just decided that I wasn't going to let those things affect our weekend. I said, I am, I'm going to have a good weekend and I'm just going to forget about these things. The maintenance guy showed up and he fixed the TV for us and he told us that the, there, there wasn't anything wrong with the water heater, but it just was taking a long time to refill because the cleaning people had been there right before we got to the cabin and so apparently they had used all the hot water. So it, it ended up, you know, it was fine. So Saturday, um, we didn't really have plans for what we wanted to do, um, but we just kind of we kind of decided we would at least like go up in the mountains and maybe drive around for a while. Um, I really kind of was not feeling well that day, but again, I didn't want to let that affect affect us and and stop us from having a good time. So we just kind of headed out. We didn't really know what we were going to do for sure. And then my husband mentioned a place called Klingman's Dome. Now, we had actually been there probably a year or two previously. And Klingman's Dome is, uh, you'll see some pictures of it later because we did end up going there. Um, it's one of the highest points in, in the Smokies. And then when you get up to that point, there is a lookout tower that you can climb up. And uh, it's got a really beautiful view up there. And so previously we had gone there and we had tried to hike that trail and I was just physically unable to do it. it it's a pretty steep trail. And the last time we had been there, I don't think I made it maybe a hundred feet. Uh, you know, it wasn't very far at all. I did, I just couldn't do it. And so we had to turn around and go back. And, and at that time, when we left, I told my husband, I said, I'm, we're going to come back here and we're going to do this trail. We're going to do it. I, I didn't know when it was going to be. Um, but he, I think he mentioned it kind of jokingly. I don't know that he was serious. He said, we should go to Klingman's Dome. And, and it just, it just kind of hit me. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I think maybe... I surprised him a little bit because then he was trying to maybe talk me out of it a little bit. 
And I, I said, no, let's go. Let's just go. Let's see how maybe, maybe I can't make it all the way, but let's just try. Maybe I'll make it halfway or something like that. Um, so we drove up there. Um, the drive, we were staying in Pigeon Forge and to get to the, the national park, you go through Gatlinburg and then to the national park. So I have a little clip of driving from Pigeon Forge to Gatlinburg because I think that road there is just really pretty. It's curvy and it's all lined with trees and I just think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna insert that right here. And then, so we drove through that part. We drove through Gatlinburg. I took a little bit of video driving through Gatlinburg, but it didn't turn out very well because all you could see was the back of the car that was right in front of us. You couldn't really see much of the town. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother to show that to you. And when we got to Klingman's Dome, um, we just went ahead and we started walking. It's a paved path. But like I said, it is pretty steep. They actually have it classified. I looked it up online. They said they have it classified as an easy trail. And I have to disagree with that because that's, <laughs> that was not an easy trail at all. Um, I didn't take any video or anything as we were going up because I just had to concentrate on, on just like one step at a time and, and just trying to see how far I could get. Um, I've got a few pictures and things and I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna make like a montage of everything and kind of put that in at the end. Um, when we were coming down, I took some video, but it didn't turn out <laughs> because I was trying to be a little discreet and not look like I was taking a video and I was trying not to get other people's faces in it. And so I had my camera, or I was using my tablet, and I had it kind of pointed down towards the ground a little bit. And I actually had it pointed too far to the ground, so all you saw was just the pavement. So my video didn't turn out. But I've got a little bit of a video um, up at the top and the view, and then just some still pictures. So I'll insert those at, uh, in here in a minute. Um, so we, of course, it was my husband and I, and we... we kind of made our way up the trail just very slowly um, all along the trail kind of on both sides they have um, some trees that have fallen and that they kind of put along the trail 
So at various points, if you need to stop and rest, you can sit on one of these trees. And so that was very helpful. We made great use of those. Um, there was even a few little like benches and rocks and things like that. So pretty much anywhere that you needed to take a break, there was a spot that you could sit and, and rest. So like I said, we took, we took great advantage of those various spots. Um, and we just, we just took our time, you know, and it, it took us a long time. Um, the, the thing that I thought was really neat too, was as we were going up, there was a lot of people there that day. And as we were going up there, of course, were people coming down and as they were coming down, they would talk to the people going up and they would say, Hey, you can do it. Keep, you know, keep going. It's worth it. You'll, you'll be glad that you did it. And I just, I thought that was really neat that all of these people, you know, just strangers were just encouraging each other and like cheering each other on. I just, I, I really thought that was neat and it encouraged me. It really did. Um, you know, and we saw, we saw other people there too. We saw a man who we didn't talk to him, so I don't know what happened, but he, he was missing a leg. He had an artificial leg and he, you know, he was just hiking up that trail um, we saw lots of people with small children. There was a lady in a wheelchair and her, her husband or someone, um, they were actually coming down. And so I, that was probably harder than going up that he was, he was guiding her down, but he was having to hold that chair back because the trail was so steep. So, you know, just seeing all those other people and feeling like I wasn't the only one that had some physical struggles and and they were all out there doing it too and so that that really motivated me to see you know to see someone like that and then say well if they can do it I can do it and I had we had people that said that to us too some older people and things like that and they said hey if we can do it you can do it so keep going um, we even had at one point uh, because I am diabetic and when you are sort of physically exerting yourself, you have to kind of monitor your blood sugar to make sure it doesn't drop. And so at one point we stopped and we were sitting on a bench and we just were checking my blood sugar. My husband was helping me and a lady came over and she, she just wanted to check. She said her husband was a diabetic. She said, do you need anything to eat? Do you need, can I give you something? Can I help you with something? And I just, I thought that was so sweet. I just appreciated all those people that just kind of were like looking out for each other. Um, and that really, like I said, it just really encouraged me too to see all these other people that they didn't know us, but they, they cared about us, even cared enough to like stop and see if we were okay and things like that. So I just, I thought that was awesome. So we did eventually make it to the top. <laughs> like I said, it took us I think I figured out it took us about twice as long as it, it took most people because on the website that I looked at, they said it would it would take an average of one and a half hours and it took us about three hours total. Um, it was a it was a half mile up and then a half mile back. But of course, going up was up the mountain and then coming back was down. So it was a little easier um, when we got to the top the the tower up there it doesn't have stairs it has like a kind of like a ramp that spirals around the tower and that's how you get up there and if you know me um you know that i have a great fear of heights and when we got up there i really was hesitating i didn't want to go up the tower and then and then i just thought i came all this way you know, I don't really want to miss out on this. So I, my, and my husband was encouraging me too. And so we, we did make it up there and I was terrified. <laughs> there was a, a little bench around the center of the tower and I went and sat on that right away just to kind of rest for a minute and kind of get my bearings. And as I was sitting there, I could feel the tower shaking and that kind of made it worse. But <laughs> eventually I did get up enough courage to kind of go to the railing and look over a little bit and took some pictures and things like that. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that we got just a tiny little video clip up at the top and a few pictures. So I will insert those right here. And then the last thing that I just wanted to talk about um, was just how like kind of exhilarating it was to be able to say that I did this. Something that I really wanted to do, something that I, I thought I wouldn't be able to do right now um, because I had kind of gotten this mindset that whenever whenever we thought of something we wanted to do i would kind of say well i guess we'll have to wait until after i get my kidney transplant and it just like once we finished this hike and we got we got back down to the bottom i just realized that i kind of i was putting my life on hold i wasn't living life i was i was pushing things off and saying we'll do that later we'll do that when i feel better we'll do that when i have more energy we'll do that after my transplant especially and so i really feel like this weekend i really learned that i'm not going to do that anymore i'm not going to put things off until someday i need i need to live my life now and enjoy my life now and so we did that on saturday today when i'm filming this is tuesday and i am still in horrible pain <laughs> my legs are so sore in fact they kept me awake last night because it was just it was hurting so bad but it was worth it it was absolutely worth it to be able not only to be able to do something that I really had wanted to do that I thought I couldn't do but to be able to spend that time with my husband that we so desperately needed and I didn't even realize I knew we needed it but I didn't realize how much we needed it until afterwards because we just we hadn't we hadn't been able to spend a lot of time together over the last probably couple of months when he's been so busy we ju it just felt like we were just running, you know. We, we had to go do this, we had to go do that, and then he had to go to work, and then he had to go to sleep. And so it was so nice just to have a couple of days where we didn't have to be anywhere at a certain time. We just relaxed, we just enjoyed each other's company, which we always do, but <laughs> it was just, it was just a really great weekend. I'm so thankful that we got to do it. Um, and I think, I think I have a few more pictures that I'm going to insert here at the end. So 
if you have watched this whole thing thank you and be sure to subscribe so that you can watch and see what what adventures we're going to go on next so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time